Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we unlocked another Sheikah Tower, which means we can get rid of that stamp there that I put there. And now, we're gonna get back to the road, and we're gonna follow it further to the west. Oh my goodness, turn. Where am I turning? I don't know. I don't know how I got up here in the first place. That's fine. Let's just go down here, please. Oh... Horses can be a bit glitchy around edges sometimes when you go up a hill or a mountain. But that's okay. So, once we get back to the road, we're gonna head further west and then see what we can do. I'm not gonna go all the way to the west and north area. So, we're just gonna. I might as well save you, I guess. Oh, I missed. There we go. Apparently that's super effective during the rain. Which I suppose is good, but I also hurt my horse. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Got a picture of that already. How's your day going? You seem to get around. You know much about this Kilton and this Fang and Bone? Uh, doesn't ring a bell. Are you interested in finding out more? I could use some help with the hunt. Take this, too, for helping me. Some monster extract. A result of Kilton's research into monsters, this suspicious spice can be used to punch up uh, dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews this stuff up at the... At Fang and Bone. It's kind of flavoring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. Aww. There are some weird stories going around that about Kilton, uh, character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair-raising research with them, and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of want to meet him at at least once to see if the rumors are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. Aww. One source I uh, trust says he's most often found at skull a skull lake shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Interesting information though. I will probably not keep it in mind, not for very long at least. Let's just keep going along the road then. Since we're making good good time actually. Overall. Since only like an episode ago I started going towards the tower and got it all at once, so. Also got a shrine along the way. Speaking of shrines, we can see a glow in the distance. So let's see if I can actually do that. And I see the tower over there as well, which is already on a map. But anyway, that shrine is actually on the path that we're going, so I might actually pick it up. Let's just go. Do, 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 do. I don't know what else to say, but I don't really need to say anything anyway. Rain in video games is nice, though. I can say that, at the very least, since it's raining. Such a wonderful thing, rain. Some people don't agree with me, but it's a lot of other people will agree that video game rain is nice, and regular rain too. Oh, I just killed a bird by going over it, I'm sorry. Now, where is this taking me? Getting fairly close to what we need, I think. Let's take a look at this. Beware of bandits. Incidents of travelers being attacked in this area are on the rise. Traveling alone at night is dangerous. The Tabantha Bridge stable up ahead can guarantee your safety. Uh. Excuse me, do you know which way I should go if I wanted to get to the Garuda Desert? I don't know. Uh. Really? That's unfortunate. I know it's the in the southwest direction anyway. <laughs> you aren't Link, are you? <laughs> your life is mine. Ah, oh, I should have listened to that sign about bandits. Oh well. 
Last chest. Last chest. Figure out a faster method of attack. And let's attack. Already done in one go. Already found a vicious sickle before. Grab all that rupees. Very nice. Anyway, let's just keep going now that we've dealed with bandits. I suppose. And the uh, stable should be somewhat near over here, right there. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. I see rush room. Behold, the rush room. Very important. Okay, let's go. Well, there's Beetle, so must be close enough. Oh, sorry. But yeah, not just another stable. And speaking of stable, where there's a stable, there's usually a shrine. So let's go pick that up first before anything else. No, I missed. That's fine. Oh, and there's more rush room. <laughs> I don't know where my arrow went. That's fine. Can I actually hit that rush room from here? I missed. There we go. Let's grab that and also my arrow, I think. Way to go. It was sparkling just a second ago. I can't find it. It's gone. Okay, let's go get that shrine. Where, where is it? Up here. Let's just get up all the way. Just like that. And let's head in. Aim for the moment. Okay. So I think I need to hit that orb. But probably I also might need to stasis it as well. So let's do that a few times. And that should be fine. And that's gonna put that in the hole. Launching us into the air. That looks so silly with Link just going off screen. But anyway, now that we're up here, we can glide over to this chest over here. So let's grab that. Some topaz. And now, we use this. We can see that there's that up there. Which I think we can either use magnesis for, or we can shoot the rope. And just drop it. I'm so glad these arrows are easier to find inside of shrines. Let's open this. Falcon bow. A highly refined Rito uh, made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Rito warriors favored it for its superior rate of fire, which helps them excel even further in at aerial combat. Very cool. We can't get through the rest of the shrine yet. But we do have all the uh, chests in it. So, let's just get on top of this. And then, once we're launched, let's slow down time by bringing out our bow and shoot that switch. Please don't shoot your switch. It's kind of expensive. Anyway, another shrine down. There we go. Let's go down to the stable. Huh? Egads! Hmm? What is it, my smart man? What you looking at? Oh. Hmm, what could it be? I happen to notice that a section of the cliff face there in the distance looks almost man made. <laughs> 
My smart man, tell me. You can see it too, yes? I would take a closer look. If I could get down there on my own. Cliffside Etchings. Which is a shrine quest. So let's just mark that as... Probably... I guess because it's a shrine, but... I don't know, let's like mark it as a shield for now. Maybe? We can't actually see the shrine from here, so... Let's keep going down. Some more firewood to pick up at the back. Which is kind of useful. And some more goats as well. Let's head in and see if there's anything inside of value. This is, this is the only reason I'm going inside. Okay, we don't really need that. We, 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 that's just an easy thing to know. Oh, I don't know. I don't have time to be drinking right now. You staying here at our stable? That's nice. But check this out. Go way south of here and you'll find a flat, -heeled, a flat hill called Washer's Bluff. Mm. On that hill, there, there's this mysterious looking platform thingy. Me and uh, Gaggle tried all day to figure out what it does, but we're stumped. Something down south. Oh, maybe? I think it's like up. No, there. So let's probably mark this as, I don't know, star, just so we know that there's something up there. And let's keep looking around. Great fairy. Ah, great fairy. Oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. You've heard of the great fairy, right? The one from all those old, old stories? <laughs> Well, they're not just stories. I believe the Great Fairy is real, and I'm on the journey to find her. Well, um, I, I have some bad news for you. There's a tower just beyond the Tabantha Great Bridge. They say that if you go to the top and look at the ground sometime in the afternoon, the tower shadow will point to the Great Fairy's fountain. After hearing that legend, I decided to find out for myself, but now I'm stuck here at the stable because, well... No matter how hard I try, I just know I'll never be able to climb that tower. And to think, I even saved up all my rupees as an offering for the Great Fairy. But you, you look like you could cli climb that tower without breaking a sweat. Would you be willing to make an offering of rupees to the Great Fairy on my behalf? Sure, I'll <laughs> definitely do that. Oh, thank you. Here, take 500 rupees I saved up. It's my life savings. So please don't just go running off with it, okay? My money now! Anyway, let's just go ahead and grab all this. And then... I've probably taken a picture of a soldier's bow before. No, I haven't. Cool. Let's take a picture of that. I've definitely picked one up before, though. Soldier's broadsword. Pretty sure I've taken a picture of that before. And now... Let's see what else is around. Hello, and welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable, where I'm busy cataloging some very important cargo. If you need directions, just ask me about which direction you want to go. I'm kind of good for the moment. Really? Well, I'll be careful. Okay, goodbye. Also, it has about the north on the second thing there. Wildberry, a fruit that grows in cold, snowy regions, known for its tangy, sweet flavor. It doesn't offer any special effects, but it's, popular, uh, it's a popular cooking ingredient. Well, let's then take a picture of one. It's kind of a weird picture to take, but I'm just going to do that. Don't think you needed anything, do you? Cargo! Cargo! Helping out! Hey mister, do you put your cargo in your pouch? Did you hear the rumor about uh, the forest people can give you a bigger inventory, did you? I did hear that. You heard? Yay! Now we're friends! We're Now we're friends! I hear you can collect things uh, the forest children drop. What do you think their droppings look like? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a picture. But anyway. Let's now talk to you, since you're here. Yes, it's nice to relax and observe the animals every once in a while. <laughs> look at that picture, though. Just look at it. Just observe. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? 
I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check out my album. Ah, these are the ancient columns. If you cross over, cross the Tabantha Great Bridge over there, there's a large cliff to the south. The ruins are atop that cliff. I recall that shrine you can see on the right there, too, so I'm pretty certain that's the place. Okay then. We can also see that up there in the sky, in the picture. And we'll be going over that a little bit later, but if you hadn't guessed already, that is one of the four divine beasts. Which we could see from the Great Plateau. We can also just mark it onto our map. So, just in case you wanted to know exactly where you needed to go for that, you can do that from the Great Plateau. So, let's head over this way. Since we can see the shrine up there, although it just disappeared, I think, possibly. But we're getting fairly close. And I wouldn't recommend taking your horse over this way, though. So... We can also see that tower there that I might also get. We're crossing over into a new region, so... As you can see, though... There's a Guardian Skywatcher over there. So we're going to want to avoid that as best as possible. I don't think that um, using stealth potions or the uh, stealth armor is going to help you, so. But you just need to stay out of its searchlight, which should be easy enough. Although they move fairly quickly as well. If you get used to, if you like learn their pattern, you can probably avoid it fairly well. Oh my goodness, where are you going? I can't see where your thing is on the ground. Now, where are you? There. Wouldn't recommend taking one of these on. At the moment. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Ow. I almost died, but didn't. Let's just eat a lot of food. Uh, what? Is there anything... I guess... That? And then maybe if we have anything smaller... We can eat some of this. I don't know why you would roast a hearty truffle. Oh my gosh. Let's... Run. Oh my gosh. I'm still good though. Just go, just go, just go, just go. I was gonna say we could do something with them, I suppose. There's a rush room up there. But I don't know if I really want to try. So, how about this? Let's get out our ancient arrow, which is probably not recommended to grab out. And if I can get this guardian closer. These are very special arrows. Don't waste them. Where'd it go? There it is. Let's just... Get it aimed at us, and then shoot it in the eye. I missed! I want to load back a little bit, because that is such a waste. I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm upset that it moved when it did. Unfortunately, though, that means I have to actually go back to where I was, and I might, it might actually be possible to get through safely just riding a horse, so. As long as you're aware, aware of what could happen if you do it wrong. So, let's go ahead and try this. And let's hope that I don't absolutely fail and kill John, because that would be upsetting. Oh, also, don't glitch on the bridge. Don't glitch on the bridge! What is it with the bridges being absolutely broken? Literally and figuratively. Okay, I might try again with this arrow. 
but I'm gonna have to definitely be careful. Since we've already wasted one and had to reload, I might also just save again. So I don't lose a little bit of progress on this. So it's easier to just go back into it. This is actually probably more worth doing this on Guardian Stalkers as well. Missed. I'm bad at this. Okay, take who knows what. Because I'm really, I'm really struggling here right now. I have an idea that I could do though. I'm gonna get off Jack, please. And if I could actually... Oh, they can actually hear me, I think. That's not good. But anyway, let me try to shoot you. Oh, that didn't actually do what I was hoping it would. I really want it to work, though. I, I'm... I shouldn't be trying this much for this, but I really want it to work. I should probably just go to a different Guardian somewhere and take... try to do it there. Okay, please. Where are you going? I'm having a little bit of trouble controlling now. Maybe I just shouldn't. I don't know. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carefully not activate it by accident and I'm gonna climb up this thing here hopefully all the way okay making sense so far maybe I might also save once I get to the top so I don't fail again Oh, he has a lot of health. That's okay. That could be why it's not working. It also could be because I'm not using my strongest bow as well. Let me just change my bow. Yes, 26 is the best I have. Now let's save again. And I wonder what would happen if I tried shooting it with a regular arrow to get its attention first. Okay, good. Good start. And then... And then shoot it in the face. Instant kill. So yeah, if you have a guardian that you're having trouble with, nine times out of ten you can defeat it in one hit using um, using a, a guardian arrow, but they are extremely, extremely expensive to get, so you probably don't want to use them too much, and if you do want to use them, you probably want to use them somewhere where it's actually going to be a little bit more necessary. But anyway, now that that's done, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's try to sneak past all of this. I'm great at sneaking, as you can see. Okay, and let's go to that tower if I can. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh my goodness. Everything's fine. So, to get to the tower, we're gonna need to go up past a lot of enemies. Which we can probably just ignore most of them. Which I'm going to try and do. I might not be successful. But I'm... Going to try, definitely. That's the key word for this most of this. Anyway, there's also a black mob in there, so let's take a picture of that. And there's also... Black... Boat Coblins. It's interesting that they... Depending on how strong they are, they actually... Sit close together. Also, this is here, apparently. And I don't think I can actually get that in time. But I'm definitely going to try. I've got the my best climbing equipment on. 
Oh my gosh. Just get to the top, just get to the top, and good. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's mark that off. Number 53, apparently. And now, let's figure out whether the thing is over here. I think this is the path. No, that's not the path. A bit further over this way, probably. Okay. Oh, there's just gonna be strong enemies along this path. Okay. Arty Radish. Big Hearty Radish. Very nice. There we go. We might actually get through some of our weapons and have them actually break for once. There's a lot of pillars around here, which is interesting. I wonder what they're from. Like, was there something here just 10,000 years ago or something? Or is this like a new new addition? But anyway, we don't actually need to climb up the path. We can actually just climb up the side of the mountain. But we should be fairly alright. For now. Oh, come on, please. Headshots would be nice. Did I not just say that headshots would be nice? Okay, let's just drop that there and then send you flying. If I can send them flying off the edge, that'd be good though. Ow. I'm glad I upgraded my armor because I would probably have died a lot more times, I just realized. Okay, let's get some food. Four, that works perfectly. Oh my gosh. Please don't fall off the edge. <gasps> oh. If they could fall off the edge though. That'd be great. There goes that one. Moonlight Cemetery broke. That's okay. I don't want to use my stronger weapons like this, but it's not really... I don't really have much choice. Let me grab that and then slow time down. Let's use our Ceremony Trident. We don't actually need to worry about breaking them since we can repair them, and they're not even that great weapons anyway. The Trident and the Ceremonial... I can't even remember what they're actually called. Here. Ceremony Trident and Light Scale Trident. You can you can use them as you will. I'm pretty sure that the one that's under the bridge might respawn. Maybe I can't I can't confirm that, but it is definitely a possibility. Now, take a picture of that already. Cool. I didn't mean to coal. A lot of arrows here. I wonder why. It's like somebody was shooting at something and missed a whole lot. But that would never be me. I'm also going to change this icon quickly to that, so that it disappears when I actually get up there. Oh, hello, Peblet. Oh, you're actually strong enough to not take damage from that. Okay. Well then, let's do that instead. Oh, Amber, thank you. Let's just keep going up. It did look a little bit strange at first. But anyway, there's just boulders going past apparently. There's also quite a bit of malice around here which you've already gone over if you stand on it hurts you. Let me just demonstrate this. Ah pain. Probably shouldn't be showing that but it's fine. Um, let me just try to shoot you in the face. Thank you. Oh back up back up back up back up. Ow. Oh, get up, please. I'm playing a little bit dangerously right now. I have a shield, so that's good. And I, if I can back up, I might actually be able to... Get a fly rush. Yes. Please, thank you. Please, thank you. There we go. Nice. Let me check if that's a different weapon. No, it looks like it's just a normal weapon. Cool. Don't whistle, Link! There's another one! I think if I went the other path, though, there wouldn't, wouldn't be... Oh, there's three. There's, there's two... I'm gonna go this way. I think if I go this way, it's a safer path to go along. So let's go this way. There's just Bokoblins on this way. Hey, have I taken a picture of Peblet? No, I have not. There we go. 
Let's just blow you up. Grab that. The other one's fine to live on, I guess. The thing on the ground, that is. Not the actual thing that dropped it. Just the item it dropped. Anyway. Spiked Boko Spear. Let's just keep going up this way. Um... There's just a treasure chest on top of this platform, no nothing guarding it. I guess it makes sense that enemies wouldn't always be guarding stuff. But you'd expect them to change watch or something. They're just all lazy. No, oh, please, come on. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting, a black Lizalfos. Which looks more red than black, but I guess the game says so, so I have to agree with it. So anyway, let's just see what we can do here. Ah! I was really hoping that that would actually just knock him off the edge. Ow. I'm really not going well here right now. Oh my goodness. Can I switch targets? I think I can. Maybe? I could be very wrong as well. Okay, there goes my ceremonial thing. Let's get the light scale one out. Okay, this is good. Just need to blow them up a little bit. Where'd the other one go? It's behind me now. I'm in the middle of them. <laughs> this is our tri boomerang. More blades means more attack power. It can be used as a boomerang, but all those blades makes it a bit more dangerous carried by a black Zalphos seasoned in battle. Okay, okay, everything's fine. Just gonna knock you out, and then I'm probably gonna actually drop the weapon so I can actually take a picture of it. Since this is a new weapon and enemy. There we go. I might actually take it with me though, since I just used weapons, so. Or... Well, that's the problem with weapons. As soon as they break, you just get a new one to replace it, and then your inventory is full again. Steel Lizao Shield. This Lizao Shield is adorned with several metal shields, shells. As a means of reinforcement, its defensive capabilities are high, but its weight requires a skilled soldier to bear it. Okay. Well, now that that's all done, we've made it basically to the tower now. Basically. Just need to get a little bit closer to actually get up to it. There's malice around the base of the tower, so we can't get to it that easily. But luckily for us, there's an eye over there on that pillar. If I can actually hit it. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I get a little bit closer. To Bantha Tower. Okay, I can see it through there. Oh, that's really just not going to work. Okay. Let's go around a little bit. Oh, I can see th things over there. Let's mark that, and... Oh, I don't have any things left. Well, let's get rid of the pin here. And probably another one somewhere else I can just mark as a shrine. And also probably can get rid of the... That green one anyway, since that's, I believe, where that is as well. Somewhat. Let's mark that. And I think that over there is also a shrine. So there we go. Some more shrines on our radar, basically. For future reference. We're getting fairly close to there, but that's not actually where I want to go first, unfortunately. It's just I want to get this area done sooner. Oh, where is that eye? Let me go up this pillar here. I don't think I can glide to the tower and still climb up because there's that ring around it over there. But I think from over here, possibly, I have a better shot at shooting the eye. No. Let's go to that pillar over there then. I know that I'm pretty sure this is how I'm going to get up to the top somehow. Oh my gosh. I don't need... To live, okay. We can shoot the eye from here. And by shooting the eye, it dispels a bit of the malice around the pillar there. Which drops it against the tower. So there we go. 
now. Ow, pain. Can I climb up this? Thank you. So there we go. Let's just head on up this way. Okay. There's the shrine there that we need to go to still. Okay, and now... Oh, it's cold up here. I should probably do something about that so I don't freeze. Oh, get up, please. Don't let go. Uh-oh. That works! With the tiny bit of stamina that I had. There we go, another region of the map unlocked. So, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.